What's up, y'all? Life is great. Bro, let me tell y'all something. Shit is about to get real out here. It's about to get real out here. I don't care if you don't believe in conspiracy theories. If you do, if you think people bullshit. Just look around, man. Before it get too late. Because ain't nobody got time to keep telling you. Prepare now. Y'all got to think about it, bro. Look at all this EBT that's been getting dis distributed all over the world right now. Just think about that. Even if you ain't on EBT, you know somebody that's on it. Bro, I know people that's been getting thousands of dollars worth of EBT right now. I'm not saying there's no bad thing. I'm not judging nobody. I'm not judging nobody. But what I do know is... When you starting to get EBT in, in those amounts, you got to think about it. First, you got to think about, we already know it's a food shortage. We already know certain shit is getting taken off certain menus because there's a food shortage. If you've been keeping up with your media, you should know that there's a food shortage right now. That's the first thing you should be thinking about. Second thing is, we got another strain that's out right now. And it's, it's fucking over everybody. I'm just going to say it like that. I'm just going to give it to you all because y'all don't understand. They've been letting us know for almost a couple months to a year now that it's a food shortage y'all gotta think about it most of the stuff we get in the u.s comes from china y'all got y'all <laughs> most of the stuff in the u.s comes from china right now china is still flooding from 2020 i spoke about that in a previous video china is still flooding from 2020. China is on lockdown. In China, they are going door to door swabbing these people. Come on, y'all. Now think about it. Come on, man. We're going through a food shortage. China flooding like that. Y'all got to know within the next couple weeks. Or month, y'all, y'all got to think about it. Come on, man. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff going on right now, letting you know that some big about to go on. Last year in 2020, we had we went on lockdown. We went on lockdown. Stores didn't have no food. Stores didn't have no toilet paper. No, you know, all your necessities. This time, man, it's gonna be something big. But, my people that's been watching my video before, you should already be stocked up on some of the stuff that you that you do need. As I said in another previous video, go get you a deep freezer. Even if the even if the power or whatever do go out, you'll still have you some frozen meats. Get you get you one of them styrofoam uh, little cooler things. Come on, man, y'all gotta think ahead. If you know how to grow plants, if you know somebody that know how to grow, you know somebody in your family got a green thumb, keep them around. Because y'all got to know that if if this happens again this year in 2021, shit is not going to be the same like it was in 2020. It's going to be even worse. And I know you see that coming right now. Right now in New York, you got to have a car to go sit in their restaurants, to go to the movies, to go work out. Come on, it's coming. There's there's shortages of workers because motherfuckers don't want to get that jab. They don't want to get it. It's, it's a shortage of workers, drivers, you know, everything. Come on now, y'all. Think about it. 
is being made mandatory in certain places. So, what that means is, and then I feel like when this lockdown comes, they gonna let it get so bad to the point where it's gonna be like, you gotta get it. And like I told you, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna it's gonna be a choice that it's gonna depend on your livelihood and and your and your faith and your spiritual whatever you believe it's, it's gonna because either you gonna be a part of society and get that jab or you not and y'all gotta look look at your media right now I told y'all. You ain't got to be on media like that, social media, whatever. You ain't got to watch the news like that. But be aware of what's going on around you. Think about that now. Look at your local media right now. They got everybody pushing it. It's being pushed on your radios, your TVs, the commercial, your computer, whatever you get on, whatever type of device you get on, signs in the streets, it's being pushed. And then... You got your dams on it. You got your dams in your republic. You got one side saying shut it down, lock it down. It's getting too bad. Da 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 da. Then you got the other side, like nah, our workers need to work. We need the money. We need to keep America going and flowing again. But they all working together. It's like at this point, you should know something crazy is gonna go on. It's like at this point, there's no denying it. It's signs all around you telling you to get ready. You got people telling you to get ready. You, you, you. Either you do or you don't. But, like I just said, because we're going to have to go back on lockdown. When they announce the lockdown, these stores are going to be cleared. We are already going through a food shortage, y'all. They was already talking about a global water shortage. Get prepared now. Because some men be telling me that it's not going to be like last year. It's going to be even worse. You can tell. You can see it yourself. It's going to be even worse. And a lot of people going to be out of jobs. A lot of people going to be out of this and that because... They making something mandatory that we know that's trying to get up here. You got to think about it. You got a long-ass Q-tip reaching all the way to the top of your skull, cutting off your, cutting off your pineal gland. Be aware of the people around you that got that job. They ain't got no higher self speaking to them. All that's cut off is gone. They no longer finna be thinking for themselves. Y'all gotta think about it. They giving this out like Halloween candy. And then you got to have a card. Think about it. If it was as crucial, you wouldn't need nothing. Come on in here and get it. Come get it. You wouldn't need nothing. Y'all gotta think about it. <laughs> I'm just saying, get prepared now. Before it's too late. It's a lot going on. You you, you can see it. It's being pushed. The, the, they're saying numbers climbing. This and that. You can't go in here without that. You, you can't. You finna be strictly cut off from life. By this, by this decision. Like seriously. You finna be strictly cut off from life. If you, if you ask me from, from society. Because all the things you used to doing, if you ain't got that jab, you ain't doing it. I just feel like if you know, if you know better, you do better. If you know what happened last year and you know how hard it was to get the things that you needed, Go ahead and prepare now. You see it coming. You can't turn on the radio without hearing it. You can't watch your TV without hearing it. It's in your face. We got our two, 
our two most popular cities right now that's requiring you to have car before you can enter their public spaces. It's coming to you next. Prepare for that. Prepare for when there's no food in the stores. Prepare for when you gotta grow your shit. Prepare, be prepared to be in the dark. Like I told y'all, man, y'all stay off y'all phones, pick up a hobby, man. I picked up knitting, man. I picked up knitting and I've been growing plants in the house. I know how to sew. I told y'all, pick up a hobby because at this point, you should see that the world is getting worse and worse. The food ain't no good. It ain't no. It's being tampered with. It's sick. The animal's sick. The animal's sick. The bird's sick. The plant is sick. We get sick. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Like, it's, it's not even funny no more. It's not even fun no more. It's not even trying to spend the time to get, you know, because that that's what my channel is for, to get people caught up on what's going on. But right now, out of the few couple videos, if you've been watching me, you should you should be trying to update yourself on a little bit more because I know you see what's going on. It's, it's, it's hard to be blind to it right now. It's hard to be blind to what's going on. You see the weather acting up, you know that. I told y'all to be researching China and these other countries. Everybody else locked down but us. Everybody else getting towards to where they where, where they finna be locked down. But then we got two sides in the U.S. fighting about what we should do. Come on now. We got these kids getting sick, and y'all gotta think about the price. The prices of the food is getting so high at this point. So imagine if you wait too late and they announce a lockdown and it already ain't shit in the stores then. Prepare now. You got kids to think about. You got kids to think about. At least, at least, at least get them something to eat up in there. Because I know a lot of people are going towards not letting, letting their kids get the jab. And it's, that's your decision. And if you want to, if you let them, that's your decision as well. But we ain't we ain't doing that over here. Not saying that I don't have any family members that has gotten the jab, because I do. And I have tried to to talk and try to explain. But it is what it is. I feel like these upcoming months, weeks and months finna be something crucial for us and I just want y'all to get prepared because whatever is here is here whatever's finna take place is finna take place right now and you finna make it have to make a decision for your life and your family what you gonna do are you, are you ready to be back in the house? Did you get you enough sun while you was out? Did you get you enough exercise? Did you learn how to do something new? Because we don't know what these next couple days going to bring. We don't know what the end of this month going to bring. At this point, all that other shit we mad about, all that unnecessary, we need to be, man... Because it's gonna come a time where you're gonna need your loved ones, you're gonna need your you gonna need some strong people around you that's gonna be able to withstand some damage. You're gonna need some strong people around you. Because these people that's in these low vi vibrational uh mounts right now, they don't need to be nowhere near you because it's gonna bring you down. And if somebody brings you down, that's it, it's over with. Get out of these, get get off these celebrities. Leave them alone. They pushing it too. They pushing it. I know y'all hear them. Vax that thing out. And everything else. All on the radio talking about it, singing about it. Come on now, leave these celebrities alone. They ain't living the same life you're living. I keep saying that. You don't know what these people going through on a day-to-day. -day. You don't know what they're doing. 
and half of you that that do know or have a clue what these celebrities be, you know what's going on. Don't even fall into the trap. That's why. That's why you. That's why you trying to uplift your higher self so you can think for yourself because somebody already thinking for them. But at this time and place, you need to think for yourself and prepare yourself because the time is now. Period.